it is customary to tip a carpet cleaner though not mandatory. Though most cleaners won't expect any tip, there is nothing problematic in the offering. This is a simple gesture to show respect for his service. In fact, tipping a carpet cleaner has some benefits too. Three reasons why you should tip carpet cleaners, no and then decide. Many may say that it doesn't matter whether you tip a carpet cleaner or not. But I have found some reasons why you should tip a carpet cleaner. In fact, offering a tip can be beneficial. So, go through the following reasons and understand the benefits of tipping a carpet cleaner. 1. Making a good relationship. If you want to continuously trust the service, you can tip the carpet cleaner. When you offer a tip, it improves the relationship with them. A tip from you will motivate them to work better the next time. You don't need to offer a tip just. They will like your offer later. 2. The reward for hard work. Most homeowners tip for carpet cleaning because they have to work a lot. It's not easy for carpet cleaners to clean your carpet. Some of your furniture needs to move. There can be electronic equipment which is difficult sometimes. You should offer them a tip. Cleaning the carpet takes hard work. Sometimes it's so tough. 3. The uneven shape of the carpet. When you decide whether you should tip the cleaner or not, Think about the shape of the carpet. There can be dirt on your carpet before cleaning it. Besides, there can be nasty things on it. So you should appreciate the efforts of your carpet cleaner with the offer of a tip. Do you really need to tip a carpet cleaner? Your carpet was rougher than before. You have not even cleaned it. You have paid the cleaner several dollars for cleaning the carpet. The cleaning is not satisfying. But you want to appreciate the work with a tip. Once you have decided to tip your carpet cleaner, you will pay. You have to pay according to the pay scale. Carpet cleaners earn more every year. Some of the cleaners earn more based on special cases. Normally, carpet cleaners charge a specific range of bills based on the working hours. Sometimes they get the commission. But carpet cleaners are not like the delivery man or waiters who get a low tip. Now it's clear that a carpet cleaner doesn't need a tip from you to be financially stable. But it's logical that if the cleaner has worked for hours, you must pay for that. A carpet cleaner is not going to wait for your tip. Once the work is done, they will not wait for you. He is not going to wait for you to give him money. The moment he has finished his work, he will go with the payment. What can you do while the carpet cleaner doesn't want a tip? There can be several policies sometimes when a carpet cleaner can't accept the tip. This kind of situation will not come often. But sometimes it can be according to the policy of the company, and sometimes it's a personal policy. In this case, the carpet cleaner will refuse you because he has no other option without refusing. Once the carpet cleaner makes you know why he has to refuse you, pay attention to him. He can thank you in return for your offer but you can't tip his bill. If you tip into that bill, the carpet cleaner has to call you back and refund you the money. How much should the tip be for the carpet cleaners? If you feel that you want to pay for the carpet cleaners, you can tip for it. But now the thing that comes to mind is how much you should give them. First, you have to know how many people are on the team. You have to tip every one of them. Generally, you should tip around $5 to $10 to each carpet cleaner on the team. This is the standard amount that people tip to the carpet cleaners. However, you can offer a bit more if you want to. When shouldn't you tip your carpet cleaners? In some cases, you should not tip a carpet cleaner. Carpet cleaners from some of the companies don't allow you to accept tips. It's better to ask the owner and the website to know the topping policy. You don't have to tip the carpet cleaner if a business owner is carrying it. 